Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve a special case circuit. In this circuit we are going to solve multiple super nodes that are adjacent to each other. So let us begin our solution. As you can see in this circuit, there are multiple sources and we have to go ahead and select a reference node. So first I'm going to select reference node. I'm going to put this node down as a reference node. Then let us put the names of all the node voltages over them. So you can see that 12 volt voltage source here will cause a voltage of plus 12 volt at this point at this node and similarly a 12 volt voltage on this node because of this. Now you can see that this node is a super node and this whole node is also a super node and both of these are attached to each other at this point R these two super nodes that are adjacent to each other so what I'm going to do is instead of treating both of these as separate super nodes we are going to place or consider this whole as a single super node and we are going to call this a super super node or a SS and super super node and we are going to call this super node as 1 and this super node as 2 so uh, as we usually do in super node first we write the voltage difference equation the voltage difference between these two point Q and R is because of this voltage source that is 6 volts so we can write Q minus R is equal to 6 volt and call this as equation A. Similarly, the voltage difference between these two is also 6 volt in super node 2. So we can write S minus R is equal to 6 volt and call this as equation B. Next, I'm going to apply KCL at node P, and for that, I will need the direction of currents. I1, I2, I3, I4. Four currents in this direction. I1, I2, I3, and I4. So at node P, I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to 0 by KCL. I applied KCL on this node P and one I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to 0 sum of all the currents entering at this node next I am going to find the value of all these currents you can see that current always flows from higher to lower potential so higher potential current since current I1 is flowing in this direction so 12 minus P because higher voltage is 12 volts so 12 minus P over 10 minus p over 10 12 minus p over sorry 20 minus p over 10 and uh, finally r minus p over 20 placing these over here and after solving this equation 6 p minus R is equal to 48 just simply by taking LCM and cross multiplying now we are going to consider this whole node which we are calling the super super node and we are going to apply KCL at this node so we will need the direction of currents I5 and I6 I am going to call this I5 and I6 and these are the same currents that are originating from here so the current centering here will be minus I4 minus I5 minus I6 because I5 I6 and I4 are getting outward minus I4 plus minus I5 plus minus I6 is equal to zero I'm going to find the val uh, values of I5 and I6 over here 
which will be q minus 12 over 10 ohms and similarly i6 will be s minus 12 over 10 so i'm going to place these over in this equation we already have the value of i4 Now we have four equations a b c and d so we can simply place them in matrix form because solving four equations uh, by other methods is quite difficult so i'm going to use matrix form and then we are going to solve this using matlab or any other software that we can easily operate From here we can get the values of P, Q, R and S. And whatever we val values we get out of here, we will place in these currents and as we have already done in the previous videos, we are going to change the direction of all the currents that uh, th in which there is a negative sign in the answer. I used an online software. Uh, uh, I'll show you how I did it on the internet, but you can use MATLAB or any other software that is uh, that has the ability to solve simultaneous equations. So this is the website I used to, to solve the equations simultaneously. I just place the coefficients of all the variables over here, and then I just click solve and the solution of all the variables appears in these text boxes and uh, I did solve the circuit on Proteus and this was quite near to what values Proteus had provided us with so I feel very confident that it is the correct solution thanks for watching and that is all for today if you would like to watch more videos you can click one of the annotations that appear on the screen or you can Subscribe to my channel to stay updated with what new work I am doing.